Psychotic symptoms like voices in the head, a strong paranoia are more common among adolescents living in cities with severe pollution than among those who live in rural areas, as evidenced by a study conducted in the UP. Almost one-third, 623, of them reported that they had at least one psychotic episode at the age of 12, 18 years. For example, it seemed to them that they are being watched or heard voices that nobody else heard. Scientists say that the results didn't change when they took into account other things that could affect the development of psychotic episodes, as, for example, mental disorders in family, social deprivation or the use of alcohol and drugs. Our results indicate that air pollution may be one of the factors in the connection between life and psychotic episodes, said the chief researcher Joe Ann Newberry from the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neurology. Scientists say that although the study does not prove that air pollution causes psychotic episodes, the results suggest that it may not only affect the heart and lungs. According to scientists, tiny particles of polluted air can enter through the lungs into the blood and then to the brain. There it can cause inflammation and thus lead to poor mental health. According to another theory, the chemicals covering these particles can dissolve in the blood and then transport it to the brain where, again, cause inflammation. Researchers say cause may also be noise pollution in cities, for example, traffic may interfere with sleep and become another factor in the stress of urban life. But to measure this directly, scientists have been unable However, scientists assure parents that long-term psychotic disorders develop often, and most teens who go through psychotic episodes do not suffer such disorders in adult life. According to the British Health Service, causes of symptoms of psychosis can be a traumatic experience, stress or alcohol and drug abuse.